Hello, my name's Ed Frawley. My wife and I own Learbird. Today we're going to do a, a good question and answer on blue healer puppies, but it, it applies to a lot of healing type dogs. And we happen to have just lived through this exact same thing with a blue healer puppy that we had a few years ago. I'll read the question and then we'll give you some ideas. I have a friend that does not live near me, so I'm unable to physically help her with this new cattle dog puppy that she has. She's having a problem with him constantly tugging at her pant legs and healing <laughs> at her ankles. We know this. She asked for help. I'm a dog trainer, but the problem is, like I said, I don't live near her. I'm thinking of redirecting the tug desire to places in each room with an attached, tied-out tug. Probably not a good idea. Also, a slow-feed treat ball for him to chase and to keep his brain occupied. I want to get your opinion on my ideas and tugs that you would recommend. I make fleece tugs that can be easily attached to something and tied out in a room. Using one for play would be reinforcing the desire to tug. Thank you for your time and your suggestion. Okay. Interesting, but maybe we have some better ideas that'll help. So, the fact is, this behavior, especially for blue healers or herding dogs, a lot of herding dogs, is normal. It's absolutely genetically what they do. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, they can be as persistent as some of the dogs in the biting dog breeds. And they are tough little dogs, I'm telling you. Uh, Cindy says, I breed working German Shepherds and Malinois, but my cattle dog, when I got it, was one of the worst biters that I've ever had as a puppy. They are persistent little buggers. Redirection is good, but redirection to, to a dynamic item is probably better. In other words, redirection to a tug may not be as interesting to that puppy is biting on your pant leg because it's biting on your pant leg is getting it results of you dancing around and trying to get it off and it's a little war or it's a little fun versus giving it a tug and playing tug. A better idea that we found with our puppies is to use food when you redirect them. In fact, with a lot of puppies that are puppies like this, rather than even feeding from the hand, put it on the ground. But it has to be a high quality food. Don't try and use kibble. Use cheese, use little pieces of meat. Find something that your puppy goes crazy over and use that. So that's one idea. And another thing that I'll say is because we do breed or used to breed German Shepherds and Malinois, uh, we find, and we bred dogs for police work and the biting dog sports, we found with those breeds, it's often better to redirect them with a tug or with a fleece tug that you can put on a string and play tug of war with or whatever, but maybe not with the cattle dogs. They're, they're really a different, different genetic makeup than your, than your biting dogs. So in closing here, what we would recommend is that your friend get our seven hour video that we did with our friend Michael Ellis on how to raise a puppy. There are good food chase games in that video. Uh, there's engagement games for food in that video. Your friend is gonna learn a lot and, and quite frankly, the information that she's gonna get is gonna be excellent. I wanna talk a little bit about the Ask Cindy portal on the front page of Learbird.com. You can go to that portal and ask Cindy, my wife, any question you want on dog training, on dog breeding, on health issues with your dog. Cindy and I have been in the dog business for many, many years. Me, uh, I'm 75 and I was <laughs> training dogs pretty seriously for 60 years. Cindy has been training dogs seriously for 40, 45 years. She was a groomer for 20 years, worked in a vet for 20 years. 
if we can answer a question for you, she answers the questions every day. People can come in and post, and you don't have to be a customer of Learberg. Uh, you do have to put your email in there, and the purpose for that, and I have to tell you this, is not so we can spam you with our email or sell your email address. We'd never, ever do that. The purpose for getting the email or the, the ticket with your email on it is that you can ask the question, Cindy will answer it. If she needs more information, she'll come back at you and she has to be able to communicate with you. And if you come back a week later, a year later, six months later, and ask a question, Cindy will look your email address up to see what you have asked in the past. And if it's on the same dog, she can review her previous answers and advice and maybe expand on it. So that's why. But it's, I don't know any other website on the internet for dog training where anybody can go in and ask any question they want and get, it, get an answer right away. If we're home, Cindy gets up in the morning, she goes out at five o'clock, takes care of our horses, and comes back in and answers her Q and A's that she's got for the morning. What I do is I pick the good ones and put them into videos like this. We have a lot of them. I just started putting them into videos after doing the Ask Cindy for many, many years. We've got like 3,700 of them in a database that's searchable that you can go and put quotation marks around what you want to search on and be more, you'll get a more specific answer. We don't put every question in our database. It would be, there's thousands that don't go in there. We try and pick the best ones and put them in there. So there's 3,700 good ones there. So if you have a question, go to the Ask Cindy portal. If you want the best dog training equipment I think that you can find anywhere, we have it. We don't sell junk. We don't sell cheap stuff just because it's cheap. We only sell things that Cindy and I would use. And a number of the things that we sell, we have people that make them for us. We have a whole family of Amish harness makers that all they do is our leather work. And they've done it now for over 25 years. If you like the content in these Q and A's, we have over 1,500 free videos on our website, in addition to a number of online courses and streaming videos that we sell by some of the top trainers really in the United States and really in the world. <laughs>